This is by far the easiest WordPress plugin to auto blog with AI I've seen. No need for API keys, no need for complex setup. It's super easy to use. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up everyone? The deal that I'm talking about is called WP Auto Blog. And like I mentioned before, it's the easiest plugin you're going to use to generate content automatically via AI on your WordPress site. The way you're going to install it, the way you're going to use it and generate content, it's the easiest I've seen. So definitely, if you don't want to go through the hassle of setting something up complex, this is the way to go. Now, right now, they have a lifetime deal that's $39. So you want to check that out. And what it gives you, it's this right here. So you can generate 25 articles per month and unlimited websites connected. So it means you can generate one article per website. That would be 25 websites per month. And you get 500 keyword searches per month and all the rest that you're going to get right here. 35 languages are supported with this system. If you need more blogs, jump into license tier two or three. And before I show you how to use it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They are providing the hosting that I'm using for my WordPress site. And if you want to grab a shared hosting from them, go into the link provided in the description, jump into hosting, go into web hosting, and there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you. Go down here, grab one of the plans that you find fitting for your needs. And in this case, I'll show you the most popular one. Let's go ahead and add it to cart. And once you're here, go ahead and select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. If you select 48 months, you're going to lock in the lowest price. Plus the renewal price is going to be cheaper and you're good to go for 48 months. So right now the total is $177, but if you add my coupon code, which is SASMaster and applied, the price is going to drop to $159 with 41 cents. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, use my coupon code. Now for using WP Autoblog, like I mentioned before, it's super easy. Now all you have to do is connect the website. So let's go into website. Let's add a new website. In this case, you're going to add the link to your website where the login link is. In my case, for example, this is where I have it connected and my login link, it's this one. Now, if you've modified the link, if it's login, if it's something else, go ahead and add that one there and connect. The only thing that's going to be complex or kind of more time consuming is if you have a firewall or a security plugin that's really tough, like um, WordFence or Cloudflare or something like that you'll want to whitelist an IP that they're going to provide you. Aside from that, you just jump to the WordPress site, say, yes, I want it to connect. And that's all you are connected. It's, it's just that easy. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm already connected. And if I want to start doing posts right now, like this is that I just connected it. I'll go to post scheduler. Okay. And this is the section where I'm going to add keywords of the things that I want the, the WP auto blog to write about. So let me go ahead and just copy these right now. These are just titles that I've used for my keywords. And obviously this, in this case, it's in Spanish by site and I'll add these keywords right here. So let's just say that I want to use these three right there. I'll just say, I'll just change that a bit. Okay. It's going to generate a whole blog based on these three titles. Now, if you ask me the content that it's going to write, I think it's pretty good. Now, let me show you on my site really quickly. This is what it generated. So let's go into view. And it adds, it adds the image, it adds the content in this case in Spanish, but you got a resume right here. You got the content, you got this table that it made automatically. You got more characteristics here, all about the coffee. And in this case, I checked it out and the content is correct. Now you can do this in Spanish and English and different type of languages and just do it by keywords or by titles. So it depends what you want to use. Now, in this case, I've selected language for my case. These are the 35 languages available as of now or as of this video. Do you want to schedule this automatically or every hour? So in this case, let's just say I had a list of a hundred titles here or keywords and I wanted to post, um, let's just say, where is that? Here it is. Um, let's just say one every day. Well, if you add a hundred titles there, it's going to take a hundred days to post. It's going to post one a day. So you just set this up and you're good to go. So in this case, I'll say uh, immediately for this case, just for testing purposes, select the website where you want to send these posts to. So if you have a, several sites here, just like the one that you want to trigger this for, then you got your categories. In this case, this is the category I'm using for my site, internal links. Yes. So that means that they're going to cross link between each other, which you do want to do that. Second image. Yes. In case you don't just click no key takeaways. If you want to add that section, yes. Tables like the one you saw right here. Here we go. You set that up to yes. Now, depending on the type of content, you might not need tables. So you can turn that off if you don't. In my case, yes, it does fit correctly in there. 
YouTube video? No, it will find a YouTube video that's similar to it. In this case, I don't want to add a video there. But if you do, just go ahead and say yes. Add frequently asked questions? No and yes. And then you have some advanced settings. Disable image upload? No, we do want it to upload. Additional links to place in the article. So if you want to insert some links there, go ahead and add them here. Word to link? Again, you can do that there. And additional keywords that you wanted to apply into the article. Create articles. And boom, based on the th three keywords that I've added, it's going to generate the three articles. So it takes about three to four minutes. It's going to auto generate it and it's going to automatically post it on my WordPress site. Now, in this case, I've set it to publish. When you connect your site, you have the option for publish or draft. If you want to be precautious, then you want to set the draft and then you just manually publish the articles if they are fine. But if you don't care as much and if you just need content, go ahead and set it as published. But that's how easy it is. It's going to generate those three pieces of content right now. Let's give it a few minutes for it to load and we'll go into the next section. They also include the re keyword research. This is not so fancy, but I mean, it's there. Let me show you with English. Let me show you something. For example, I don't know, specialty coffee, which is my thing right now. I'll go ahead and research in my language and let's see the results. Here we go. We just got the results for this related keywords. So these keywords are going to help you to use over there where you're going to generate content. So you got keywords, searches. You don't have to use this tool. It just helps you find keywords that are based in the same niche. So it's finding keywords to go ahead and use over here on your post scheduler. But just like that, we're going to be able to connect our site and make posts right away. Since this deal already includes the posts and the words and all of that, you don't have to worry about using an API key, using some other account. Everything's going to be done right here. And the posts are going to be 2000 word long articles. So they will be really long, like the one you just saw right here. I mean, this was generated automatically. I didn't tweak this. This is just the content as it is. So let me go ahead and refresh this if it's ready. And here we go. We just got the first article. This one is ready. The other ones will be ready in a bit. I can view the article or I can download the doc to go ahead and modify it in a doc editor. So in this case, I'm going to view the file, the, the article right here, and you're going to see that the first image, well, it has to do with natural, but not coffee, but it gets the idea. But in terms of content, I know that, I mean, it's spot on with the idea and it's really aligned information that someone could potentially search for. Now, depending on your niche is what you're going to add on the keywords. Here we have the table. We got our keynotes. We got another image. And we got more information here and here we go. We got a whole blog post that's going to be automatically posted into WordPress. Now tell me that's not the easiest system to automatically blog on WordPress. So if you're looking at something easy to use, that's not complex, that doesn't have a bunch of settings, that doesn't require me to use an API key, WP auto blog is the way to go. The links will be provided in the description. And if you're searching for a shared hosting plan, I do recommend Hostinger. These guys are solid great support. And if you use my coupon code, it's going to be cheaper than what it says already there. So go ahead and check that out also. And that's a wrap for WP Autoblog.